What's going on guys, Zenos here and today in this video of Genshin Impact, let's talk about its success in real life. Yes, you heard me right, let's talk about its revenue stats. Well, the picture right over here in the screen actually gives a really brief review on what kind of success it has managed to achieve in its first week. Just think about it. Well, right over here guys, news, Genshin Impact stats. 50 million dollar revenue in its first week across all platforms. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of money, guys. That's a lot of money. In just one week span of time, $50 million? Jesus. Wow. That's a lot of money right over there. 20 million pre registrations prior to launch. Oh my god, there are so many games out there who actually strive. I mean, like, who actually struggled to get even like 100,000 pre registrations, but this game actually managed to beat over 20 million pre registrations right off the bat. Oh my god, I mean like we got a lot of pre-registration rewards, but I think we yet have to receive that 20 million pre-registration reward, guys. Wow, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. Okay, finally, the third point right over here. 17 million downloads in just four days. 17 million. Can you just imagine? That's a lot of number, guys. That's a lot of numbers. Wow. I don't know what to say about this, man. Anyways, let's check out the other side right over here, which says Genshin Impact generates $60 million in first week as it becomes the world's number two grossing mobile game. Yes, you heard me right. Right over here, it only says like $50 million, but actually it's $60 million at the end of the day. So we'll look at it here right over here, guys. There's actually a really good chart right over here provided by the Sensor Tower. It says that the owner of Kings has uh, managed to get about like $64 million, all right? I'm like, I've never played that game. I'm like, is it really that amazing? Even better than the Mobile Legends? Huh. I should give it a try. <laughs> Next is going to be the Genshin Impact, and that's the $60 million. Third is going to be the PUBG Mobile. I know this game, but I have not really played this game so far. And the next is going to be the Monster Strike. Really? Really? Where is our 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross? Oh my god. Really, man? What the hell? Oh, man. $40 million, guys. And the next is going to be the Coin Master. These are the games that I've never heard in my life, man. Monster Strike and the Coin Master. What? Really? <laughs> man, I gotta give them a try, man. Wow. That's a lot of revenue that they are actually earning per week. Jesus, man. I'm like... This Honor of Kings, I think it's not even a new game. I think it's an old game. And for an old game to still raging on with that 64 million revenue. <gasps> That's a success story. That's a lot of success, man. That's a lot of success, okay? So that's what I really got to say to you guys. It's so good, guys. Right over here, newly released mobile RPG Genshin Impact from the Chinese publisher. MiHoYo generated approximately $60 million in players spending on the App Store and Google Play during the week following its official launch on the September 28th Sensor Tower Store Intelligence Data Source, okay? I mean, like, they were really good at advertising as well so i think it was meant to happen okay and well the graphics and the gameplay mechanics it's just too super damn amazing okay so i'm like you gotta give this to it okay but i'm still surprised that like this honor of kings i'm like i've never played that kind of one that game so guys oh well whatever that is anyways uh let's look into the another website right over here which says genshin impact hit 17 million dollars could score 100 million dollar in revenue by the end of the october that's a lot of money. I mean, like, yes, the initial hype can be a lot. Uh, meaning, like, within the first week, the game actually managed to go over $60 million revenue. So, in a month, I mean, like, it should be getting more than $100 million revenue. But, well, there is actually, like, something that I would really love to tell to you guys. Because there is no PvP or arena contest where you are supposed to fight against the other opponents. And, well, due to that one, I doubt. Okay, because, like, there's no sense of competition whatsoever. I mean, like, maybe there's a little bit of competition within your friends. Like, let's say, like, oh, who's going to beat this really fast? Who's going to get to that adventure rank 25 or 30 the faster or the first? That could be the case right over there. But in the real case scenario, the PvP content or the arena content is lacking. And that actually, I think, is the one who is actually the main revenue earner. I mean, like, if there is no sense of competition within the other players, I mean, like, would players be really that interested in spending the game? I mean, like, the money into the game? Well, that's another question right over there. And the next thing is that, like, right now, I'm, like, I'm already at Adventure Rank 26, 27, something like that. I'm already starting to feel bored. Honestly, man. I mean, like, the resins is the limited item that actually gets spent really, really fast. I mean, like, just get into the game within, like, 10 minutes. I think I will be done with those 120 resins right away. 
and after that one you are done for the day man and later on check in to get that stamina yes the resin is gonna be your main stamina later on and it's like ah oh, man yes there are a lot of world to really explore around but i think i'm already done with that one so what do you guys think about that one that's the case that I would say like is a negative side of the Genshin Impact. The positive side is definitely the character animation, the skill animations and everything going on around is so smooth and so perfect. But looking into the future, it's not really looking that great. Yes, we are going to receive like new characters, uh, new modes, I, I think a new um, region as well that will that is going to get unlocked and many other stuffs that's definitely going to keep us getting engaged but if the PvP or the arena content or the real-time arena content is not actually gonna get out I would say it's not gonna go really that long I mean like there are so many youtubers or let's say there are so many players who are also giving their feedback saying that like the main you know the co-op battles oh man it's not really that fun to begin with yes it sounds fun but as you keep on playing it's not really that awesome because like most of the content is soloable you really i'm like there is no need to actually co-op in the first place <laughs> think about it there's no actual need all right and what to say about that one okay because like if there would be a content where having a co-op would be so so helpful indeed then that would be so good because like there are so many youtubers right out there like let's say tecton who is actually producing so many guide videos to so many players out there like how he is smashing the opponents so easily with his dialogue or many other hero units out there it's just doing it so good right and there's no need for co-op after watching his video <laughs> Think about it, man. So those are the complaints right over there. Anyways, I would really love to hear your insights, reviews, and feedbacks regarding this uh, current stats. I mean, like, I'm really uh, happy that this game is actually doing a lot great. I mean, like, yes, this game is actually encouraging or it's actually enforcing. It's actually pushing the other developers to create out more quality contents to us. Because, like, lately, whenever we are seeing new games coming out, we are just like, that's boring, right? And now... I mean, like, with this thing going around, man, I mean, like, we might actually skip all other games just too easily. Like, those games are trash. Those games are trash. Because look at the Genshin Impact. <laughs> and look at those games. Pretty trash, right? So, that's the thing right out there. That is, I think, a plus point right over there. It's just... You know, like pushes the other developers to make a really quality content anyways let's hope for a very good future towards the mobile gaming platform anyways that is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel see you guys in the next video